If you've ever tried sourcing fabric for your fashion brand or clothing line, you know it can be a time-consuming and oftentimes difficult process. So today I'm going to share four big mistakes to avoid the next time you're reaching out to fabric suppliers. Hi, I'm Shannon Lore of Factory 45, and for free weekly fashion entrepreneurship advice, subscribe by clicking the red button below. Suppliers don't answer your emails, they definitely don't call you back, and sometimes there isn't even a voicemail to leave a message. Whether you've gone through this already or you haven't started sourcing yet, there are a few things you can do to raise your chances of getting a positive response from a supplier, and it starts with avoiding these four mistakes. Mistake number one is writing a long inquiry email. I can't tell you how many people make the mistake of writing a multi-paragraph email that is so long-winded your own mother wouldn't even read it. A fabric inquiry is not the time to go into an explanation of your company, mission, or your core values, or your plan to single-handedly change the fashion industry. The supplier doesn't care about that stuff. What does the supplier care about? Sales. What does he or she need from you to make a sale? A very specific one sentence description of the exact fabric you're looking for. What should that sentence include? The fiber, the fabrication, the weight, and the color. The end. Yes, you can also include a hello and a thank you. Mistake number two is immediately asking a sales rep for MOQs and pricing. MOQ stands for minimum order quantity. In other words, the amount of one type of fabric that you're expected to order to meet the supplier's requirements. Of course, you need to know if the MOQ is attainable for you. Let's say 2,000 yards would be a bit ambitious when you're first starting out. And of course, you need to know how much a yard of fabric costs so you can factor it into your cost of goods sold and budgeting. But don't ask. When it comes to sourcing fabric, a significant part of the process is getting swatches in the door so you can feel them, put them in the wash, and compare them to one another. The sales rep wants you to see the value and quality in the fabric, just as a car dealer would want you to test drive the car before talking about price. Let the rep offer the information or wait to ask until you have received the swatches. There's nothing worse than appearing overly price conscious and frugal when you're already looking for low minimums. Mistake number three is not building a relationship with the sales rep. You can't even imagine the awesome things a supplier or sales rep will do for you if you take the time to build a relationship. Most days, a sales rep is dealing with huge amounts of pressure and already tackling a pretty high maintenance day. If you respect their time by knowing exactly what you're looking for and you make it easy for them to help you, then you'll see a return. Building a relationship can happen gradually over the course of a few emails here, a few phone calls there, but if you're explicit about what you need, you never know when a sales rep call you up out of the blue and say, we've got 300 yards of excess that just came in and we'll sell it to you at a discount. Mistake number four is not being persistent. Fabric sourcing is not for the faint of heart, especially when you're looking for sustainable, eco-friendly fabrics, which is what I focus on in Factory 45. A mainstream supplier will try to talk you out of sourcing organic cotton or wonder why you're trying to source Tencel when rayon is so much cheaper. Stay true to your values and the reasons for wanting to create a sustainably sourced garment. Don't try to convince them of all the reasons why sustainability is important to the future of fashion. Keep looking, keep persisting, and don't give up until you get what you're looking for. It may not happen immediately, but at some point you're going to find it. Looking for more fabric sourcing tips? Make sure to check out my other video about sourcing fabric at a trade show by clicking below. And as always, there are plenty of free resources for startup fashion brands like yours on the Factory 45 blog. Subscribe through this link and get free weekly advice sent straight to your inbox.